Right, um, just uh, back for a quick update uh, for the part two because um, I wanted to just obviously go through how um, when you're doing the gluing how how I how I do my points and it's pretty much ex self-explanatory but obviously there might be people that will say oh yeah but you didn't show the point how you glue it etc so I thought I'd go through that as part two and um, as you can see I have finished ballasting it all um, like I said the one thing I tend to do when I'm doing my points is before I put any glue in is just use a very fine uh, screwdriver make sure there's no bits of stone in any of these bits there's a couple of bits there And like I said, move the points to make sure there's no stone in between. It usually just flick up and move out the way. And that way you'll have free movement. So, obviously, same process as before. Wet the area with the isopropyl my spray has started playing up because I'm doing a video and then what I'll do is this is I would, when I'm doing a point I would tend to avoid I go down the edges first quite often I just avoid too much glue in these edges of the point here because obviously you don't want glue there if this was a working point Um, as this isn't working, it's not going to be a working point. I'm just going to put a blob of glue there, which you would not do. You be very careful putting it in the end two there. And like I said, just follow the edges. Just gonna right, and then starting from this one here, I would put a row going down like that, a row down like this, obviously, I am when I'm doing mine. I'm running DCC so if you're running DC you might need to be a little bit more careful with glue on the blades because when I'm as I'm using DCC I've got power connectors to these rails all of these rails are power connected from underneath the board I don't need to rely on any contact on these blades whereas DC obviously you do so um that being said obviously this technique is um more for if you're going to run dcc if you're not then what i would suggest is that maybe put the blades in the middle and put a couple of bits of blue tack just there and there to stop any glue getting on just that little section to make sure that you don't get glue on there because that will obviously uh, stop contact I've had that before myself um, and then you can do exactly the same process <coughs> and 
and I'm just going to finish this bit off quickly. What I will do in a minute is just I'm just going to give you a little demonstration of why we soak the PVA properly. Um, why we soak it before we put anything on there. So done all of this section I've uh, done all that section up there which is drying and I've done this bit up to here I'm not going to do all of that up there because I'm going to be working on this area so I don't want this all wet while I'm work doing some other work on this area so but what I'll just show you quickly is in this area down here so we'll put a bit of ballast down I've already glued all this lot this is just for demonstration anyway, so, so we'll put that down, just brush that very quickly, just so it's prepared. Right, so. This is why I use the isopropyl because as you can see it soaks in and all the ballast that I've put in place, all the shoulders have all stayed and it looks brilliant. So if I get this area here, just put the glue on, on its own. And this is 50-50 glue, bear in mind. You can see, I don't know if you can see what happens. It stays extremely thick. It's starting to run and what will happen is it will start to pull ballast down and that will just sit there and pull there. It will not soak in and it will be a complete and utter nightmare. It will soak eventually but you'll end up with so much residue on the rails and it will take a lot longer. So I am just going to spray this and you'll see the, the difference it will make. That will start now to flow. So in a few minutes that will do have gone. Whereas if I'd left it half hour later it will still look like that. So that is why we use uh, water based spray or isopropyl. I prefer the isopropyl because not it most of it evaporates and it leaves less water, which means it's not watering down all the glue, the PVA. That we're putting on our ballast you can use water but it can take a lot longer to dry as well so that's personal choice for yourselves anyway i shall be uh working on some other areas all along this area next because that's my uh permanent way depot and my works area so i expect you've already guessed that's what this is for um, it's going to be for the crews to practice their work on so anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon goodbye